Welcome to What's Going Around, a weekly panel discussion where moms share candid stories about health issues their families have encountered. Babies and toddlers rarely get it, but for moms with older kids, well, strep throat is just a part of growing up. Although strep spreads mainly through coughs and sneezes, your child can also get it by touching a toy or an object infected by someone else. Absolutely. In fact, you're not feeling the best no, today, No, I, I possibly <laughs> might have it. I'm going to get checked tomorrow. So everybody <laughs> move away. Move, move away. But yeah, the worst part of it is honestly the test that they have oh, to they do. Oh, they dread that test. That is, that is I mean, it's terrible. not fun for anyone, no. but you know, we've had to hold my child yeah. down, and so that's a big roadblock. My daughter puked last time she got the test. Did she oh. really? Yes. Right and then? she's done like, it so many times. Now they don't even offer it to her. Oh, <laughs> we just knew she was like, <laughs> there's the a nurse girl. come in. Cool. I mean, yeah, it was so miserable. Poor thing, my son won't let anyone touch him. <laughs> <laughs> no blood draws, no strep <laughs> test. Yeah, no strep test, no nothing. He's just gonna deal with it. He's like, no, no, they can't touch me. Yeah. And they're always sick on the weekends. So you're like, darn it, I should have gone on a Friday. You know, it yeah. always happens on a Saturday or a Sunday. <laughs> it's all always, weekend. it's like at night too. Yeah. And that happens to all of us. You know, oh. you feel the worst kind of in the afternoons, yeah. you know, or they'll be up all night and yeah. Right. Well, central care doctors know that strep throat is painful. Your child might have swollen lymph nodes, even abdominal pain. So if you think it's strep, definitely keep your kids home from school and be sure to see a doctor as soon as possible.